Hi, I'm Kathy Guns, resident chef for Here and Now. So what's the one dish that you can't leave out during the holidays? Every family has it. It doesn't matter where you come from, where your parents come from, where your grandparents come from. There's one dish that kind of means the holidays. So for me, strangely, it's creamed spinach. And there's not that much of a story with this, except to say that my father did not eat vegetables. He did not love vegetables, but he loved cream spinach. So every year we would do cream spinach. It's just the have to have dish for the holidays. So I'm gonna show you a really simple way to make cream spinach. So I have a huge colander filled with fresh spinach here, and it looks like it's gonna serve you know what, 40, 50 people, but it cooks down to almost nothing. The other key ingredients are garlic, very pungent and wonderful. This is nutmeg. This is a whole nutmeg. Usually most people use ground nutmeg, which is good, but not as good as this. And we're gonna use some heavy cream today, but I wanna tell you something. You could use yogurt, even low fat whole yogurt instead of the cream. And when we get to that point, I'll explain to you, if you were using yogurt, you just need a lower heat because you don't want the yogurt to separate. But it's the holidays, so we're gonna go for the heavy cream. My dad would like this. Salt and pepper and olive oil. So let's get started with the dish of the holidays. High heat, olive oil, don't need butter. We're gonna have cream, so let's keep it light in the beginning. I'm gonna say we're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half. We're gonna let our skillet get really hot. I'm gonna add half of the garlic cloves. And we're gonna cook this in batches. You don't need to have five different skillets going all at the same time. I'm gonna cook a batch, take it out, cook the next batch, and then you'll see how it all fits. It really cooks down. There's a lot of water in spinach. See how the garlic's starting to bubble and just turn a little bit of a color. That lets me know that my oil's nice and hot. I'm gonna grab a handful of spinach. And you can fill your skillet up pretty well because it's gonna cook down quickly. You don't want it overflowing. And if your pan starts to get dry, you can just add a little bit more olive oil. This is a recipe that's very loose. You cannot screw it up unless you burn it. So I'm gonna remove this keeping my heat high. Okay, I'm gonna add just a touch more olive oil. You don't need to add gobs of it. And more spinach. This batch is done. I'm just gonna add it to the bowl here. Okay, a little bit more oil. Rest of our garlic. Garlic's just starting to brown. Let's throw the rest of the spinach in. A Little bit of salt, good sea salt. Freshly ground pepper, okay. I'm seasoning kind of heavily here because this is gonna season the whole batch. And now our special ingredient, the whole nutmeg clove. I'm gonna go pretty heavy with the nutmeg because I want the nutmeg to really shine through. Okay, and that's it. So that's about five minutes for sauteing it. I'm gonna lower the heat. I'm gonna add this to this. Look at how all that spinach cooked down. I mean, this will serve four to six people, or if it's part of a huge feast, maybe eight. I'm gonna lower it just a little bit, and now I'm gonna add heavy cream. And now you're gonna wanna know, well, how much heavy cream are you gonna add? So I'm saying I'm gonna add, for about two pounds of spinach, about three quarters of a cup. And as you can see, it's bubbling beautifully, which is what we want it to do. We want it to reduce and thicken just a bit. But what we're gonna do is season the cream with a lot more of our fresh nutmeg. Let's try another one. A Little bit more nutmeg. I'm serious, this, the, the spinach is gonna absorb the flavor, so you might feel like you're overdoing it, but you're not. I can tell with my eyes that that's ready, but I'm gonna show you here, okay? 
It's gotten much thicker. See that? Bubbles are there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our spinach. Now there's a lot of liquid that's collected at the bottom of the spinach there. We don't want that. So using tongs, I'm going to just lift up the spinach. With, I'm going to let it drain and I'm going to put it into our nutmeg cream. Again, I'm going to try to leave as much of the liquid as possible into the bowl. All right, you see I still, I left a lot of the liquid there, but I had all my spinach and my garlic. And now I'm going to give it a good stir into my nutmeg cream. I'm going to do something that sounds really obvious, but a lot of people forget about. I'm going to taste it. This is a good moment. I want to make sure that I have enough nutmeg and that the salt and pepper is good. Mm. Oh, I have the garlic. I definitely have the nutmeg and the salt and the pepper. I'm going to add a touch more nutmeg just because I adore it and I taste it a bit, but it's, it's a little subtle for my taste. You're going to have to taste and decide for yourself. Okay, so this cream has really been absorbed beautifully. And I'm going to put it into my casserole because then I can just put it into the refrigerator and forget about it, whether I'm going to cook it later that night or whether I'm going to serve it the next day. And you're going to heat it up before you serve it in a 325 degree oven for about 10 or 15 minutes or until it's bubbling. This is cream spinach for the holidays, my family's tradition. What's yours? Let us know. We'd love to hear. Have a wonderful holiday. Enjoy your family. Eat your greens. Enjoy your cream spinach. And happy holidays.